So a couple of improvements so far for the next version of Curve Basher. So these won't be available for a while because when it comes to features, I usually just wait until I have several of them and I bundle them together into a big update. So we won't see this for a while. Bug fixes, yes, I'll fix those as fast as possible, but new features usually take a bit. And uh, the first thing is that aligning handles is a little bit more simple than it was before. For example, for the random mode, we had a drop down here with like eight different options, possibly more, I, I think. Anyway, now let's just say we want to align the handles to the X axis because right now they're set to automatic, so they just do their own thing. All I have to do is click Align and then click on X. So no more drop down. We don't like drop downs. And here's another cool thing. Let's say that I wanted the handles to be aligned this way because the cables are hanging, right? They're not coming out of the side. So I would click on Z, but then this happens. So the center handles are also being affected. So now we have this little checkbox right here that says Align Endpoints Only. So if I click on that, I can now mess around with the alignment options and never have to worry about the center points. Those just stay as automatic. So I think that is pretty handy. And another improvement, let's go, let's have another cube. Wait, what am I doing? I could just reuse this cube. All right, so let's do this over here. And you've probably seen me do this before. So I'm rotating these cubes because instead of using the world axis, I want to guide the wire generator with the object axis. So this is X, local X to be specific. So it's going that way. So if I run the wire generator and then I switch to something like array aligned X and let's reset it and tell it to use the object axis, it now follows that flow. So we could do that before. The difference is that now, let's just say I rotate this way instead Here's a situation where the previous version of the tool would just give me reverse handles because positive X is pointing that way. So it would do something like this, I think. <laughs> it, it, you had to reverse handles, basically. But now, if I run the tool, it sort of just uh, understands automatically which way it has to flow. And that's what allowed me to just remove that reverse handles button, which I never really liked. So it's just much smarter in general. And uh, yeah, these are really small updates. Wasn't sure I was going to make a video about it, but here it is. And honestly, these updates were just a byproduct of refactoring all of the code in the wire generator. And I really want to go over the entire add-on because some of the code is a little janky and old. And uh, yeah, there's still a lot more stuff I want to add. This is just like the beginning.